hey guys welcome back today i'm gonna be getting ready with you guys for a wedding i'm gonna start off with my eyebrows as usual i'm using the kevin kwan sensual skin enhancer concealer just to scot out the bottom part of my brows I'm gonna buff out the concealer with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. For primer today, I'm going in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm gonna put that all over my skin. I'm gonna go in with my concealer from Too Faced. I'm using the shade Warm Sand. I'm gonna put that at the innermost corners of my under eyes. And I'm gonna go onto the rest of my face with the shade Butter Scotch. I'm gonna put that on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, mustache area, and my chin. For cream contour, I'm using my stick foundation from Juvia's Place. This is in the shade Sokoto. And for foundation, I'm using my NARS Soft Matte Foundation in the shade Macau and Marie. I'm going to put that everywhere else on my face. I'm going to go in with my Nuban Beauty Seal It Setting Spray. I'm going to put that all over my face and I'm going to start blending in the foundation. Next step, I'm gonna start off with blending the cream contour into my skin. I'm using my brush from Evita Joseph. And then I'm gonna start off with the blending of the concealer under my eyes. Allowing the concealer to sit under your eyes is literally the best thing. It's gonna give you a full, full, full coverage and just a seamless base. I'm also gonna go over the top of my eyelids with that just to conceal them because we're gonna be doing eyeshadow a little bit later. I'm going back in with a Tam Beauty Blender from Nuban Beauty and I'm just going over the areas on my face to take off any excess products and to do some extra blending. course i'm going back in with the brush that i used to blend out my cream contour just to make sure that everything is nicely blended out you know how i like to go back and forth with brushes 
and finally i am blending out the sides of the bridge of my nose where i applied a little bit of the cream contour product I'm going in with my Rare Beauty Cream Blush. I'm going to apply that onto the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the same brush that I used to blend the cream contour out earlier. I'm gonna start setting my face I'm going in with the Laura Mercier translucent honey powder and I'm using the damn beauty blender that I used earlier I'm gonna push that under my eyes and over my eyelids and everywhere else I applied the concealer too I'm also gonna go in with just a thin layer of the powder just to set my entire face I realized that doing this just makes my makeup sit better and it makes it last a little bit longer throughout the day For bronzer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Sans Stalker Bronzer in the shade Coconutty. I'm going to go on to my temples and the perimeter of my face as well as the hollows of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to go over where I contoured my nose earlier just to, you know, give me a little bit of snatchery. Then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the sides of the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna bake with the same powder from Laura Mercier. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna fill it in with the Nubam Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. For eyeshadow, I'm going in with my Noban Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going in with this dark brown shade. I'm gonna stamp that into my outer V and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out.
I'm going in with that chocolatey brown color. I'm gonna put that right on top of the dark brown that I used earlier, just to give me a little bit of a gradient. And I'm gonna pull that into my crease and join it with my nose contour. I'm going in with that golden color. I'm gonna put that onto my entire eyelid this is such a pretty color and i honestly think that it's gonna pair well with my outfit that i'm gonna be wearing um, i'm gonna show you guys the outfit at the end of the video I'm gonna go in with a dark matte black color. I'm gonna use that to line my eyelids just to create a spot for my eyelashes that I'm gonna be applying later. And just to give this look a little bit of intenseness. I felt like the eye color wasn't too intense and I wanted something intense. That's why I decided to use the matte black eyeliner. I'm not gonna be creating a wing, I'm literally just lining my lash line. I'm also gonna put a little bit of the black into my outer V and I'm gonna smoke it out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my LA Pro Face Powder to blend in the powder that I used to bake earlier. This gives me such a seamless finish. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyelash extensions. I'm going back in with the matte black color that I used earlier just to make sure the lash band is not showing as much and I'm gonna tightline my eyes with my So Aesthetics um, Cool Eyeliner. Now I'm going back in with the shade that I used in my outer V earlier to smoke out my bottom lash line so that it matches my top lash line and everything looks very seamless for blush you guys know i'm gonna use my blush from juvia's place in the shade bella this is my favorite 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 blush at the moment Now for my under eye, this is something I like to do just to make sure my under eye stays put all day. I'm going in with my Maybelline Super Stay Powder. This is in a very, very light shade just because I like a bright under eye. And I'm going to push it there. I'm going to push that into the center part of my forehead and eyebrows as well. And I'm just cleaning up um, afterwards. Now for setting spray, I'm using the one from Urban Decay, the All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my eye uh, mascara. I'm going to apply my mascara from Nuban Beauty. For highlighter, I'm using the Diamond Bomb um, and the shade Royal Icing from Fenty Beauty. I'm going to put that on my brow bone, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose as well as the high point of my cheekbones. And I'm going to put a little bit of the Better Brows from Nuban Beauty onto my eyebrows just to make sure they stay put all day. And I'm going in with a liquid eyeliner to give me some spots onto my breakouts and 
this is the full look i really really love this makeup look of course for my lips i'm gonna go in with something red i'm lining my lips with my liquid lipstick in the shade cherry blossom and i'm going over with a dark brown lip liner from nuban beauty i wanted to create a very pouty ombre red lip this was a very full glam moment and i wanted to go all out For the center of my lip, I'm using this ultra liquid matte lipstick from Nuban Beauty. It's a very, very bright red and it just gives me a really nice pouty red lip. Even though it might be too much for some people, I really, really loved how the lip turned out. For my perfume, I use the Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel and this is the finished look now my outfits this fabric is from gtp and i really really love how everything looks i feel like it paired really nicely with the makeup and this is how i ended up looking i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it everything i use will be listed down below i'll see you guys in my next one take care guys bye You don't need to wear